The Arctic is no longer just ice and snow, it's becoming a battlefield. And Russia just raised the stakes with the Ivan Papanin, a warship disguised as an icebreaker. Armed with cruise missiles and built for extreme conditions, this vessel could change the balance of power in the Arctic forever. But why is Russia militarizing the frozen north? And what does it mean for global security? Stay tuned as we uncover the secrets of the world's first combat-ready icebreaker. The battle for the Arctic and the Ivan Papanin. The Russian Arctic has always been a region of immense geopolitical and strategic importance. But today, it has evolved into one of the most contested territories in the world. As climate change opens up previously inaccessible waters, the Arctic is quickly becoming a key battleground for military and economic powerhouses. And Russia, with its rich history of Arctic exploration and military dominance, is leading the EE charge. But now, Russia has taken things to an entirely new level turning an unlikely vessel into a formidable weapon of war. Let's dive into the story of Russia's Project 2355, though, the new generation of combat icebreakers, which are shaking up Arctic warfare as we know it. Before we delve into the intricacies of this impressive warship, let's take a quick look at some of the other major advancements Russia has been making in the fields of technology, military power, and industry, each of these contributing to Russia's expanding influence in the Arctic. Russia's Technological and Industrial Advancements Over the past few years, Russia has been hard at work across various sectors, creating cutting-edge technologies and reinforcing its infrastructure. Let's explore some of the most significant innovations Russia has rolled out recently. Number 1. Road-Building Machinery a remarkable development in Russia's infrastructure sector comes from Rosal Mash, a company responsible for pioneering new, highly efficient road-building machinery. They've introduced the VL530 front loader and the TLH740 telescopic loader, two machines that combine power and efficiency to significantly reduce operating costs for construction projects. These machines can handle the toughest conditions, which is crucial for the massive construction projects Russia has underway in its Arctic and Siberian regions. Number 2. Advancements in Aerospace Russia's aerospace capabilities have also seen impressive upgrades, most notably with the unveiling of the upgraded 1728 YT Turning Machining Center from Stam Machine Tool Holding. This new machine is capable of highly precise work on airplane components and engines, with the ability to handle complex materials such as titanium alloys and heat-resistant steels. This machinery boosts Russia's ability to produce advanced aircraft parts and engines, giving a major boost to the country's defense and aerospace sectors. Number 3. Medical Technology in the field of medical technology, Russia has made great strides in nuclear medicine. Leningrad NPPP has successfully tested the production of Samarium-153, a medical isotope essential for treating bone metastases and musculoskeletal diseases. This breakthrough puts Russia in an advantageous position within the international medical community, allowing it to not only enhance healthcare domestically, but also engage in the global nuclear medicine market. Number 4. Military Innovations Russian military has been ramping up its defense capabilities, and one key development in this regard is the expansion of its satellite network. The Ministry of Defense has launched multiple military satellites from the Plesetsk Cosmodrome, which is located in Russia's Arkhangelsk region. These satellites enhance Russia's ability to monitor and respond to military threats around the world, as well as improving surveillance and communication for defense operations. Number 5. Expanding Industrial Capacity Russia's industrial capacity has been further bolstered by new projects such as a major fish feed production plant in the Astrakhan region. With an investment of 2.5 billion rubles, the plant aims to produce 25,000 tons of fish feed annually and plans to double its capacity by 2025. Furthermore, the country has begun salt production without chemical reagents, allowing for a sustainable output of over 400,000 tons annually. With all of these advancements and more, Russia is positioning itself as a leader in multiple industries, particularly in military and high-tech sectors. The Rising Importance of the Arctic Now, let's shift our focus to the real star of this story. The Arctic. Historically a barren and inaccessible region, the Arctic is rapidly changing due to global warming, opening up new shipping routes, and exposing vast, untapped natural resources. 
The Arctic is now home to an estimated 30% of the world's undiscovered natural gas and about 13% of its undiscovered oil, making it a treasure trove for energy resources. These resources have sparked an arms race of sorts, with nations like the United States, Canada, and European countries all increasing their military presence in the region to secure their interests. But among these global powers, Russia is leading the charge. Russia's long-standing presence in the Arctic is being reinforced with military expansion and new technologies. At the heart of Russia's strategy is the newly developed Project 23550 Combat Icebreaker, a warship that can not only navigate the toughest frozen waters, but also serve as a powerful weapon in the face of growing international competition in the Arctic. The Ivan Papanin at the forefront of Russia's Arctic military strategy is the Ivan Papanin, the first vessel in the Project 23550 series, which is currently undergoing sea trials. While it's officially referred to as a universal patrol ship, this is no ordinary icebreaker. It's a heavily armed, multifunctional warship. But what makes this ship so special, and why should we care about its significance? Multifunctional capabilities. Unlike traditional icebreakers, which are primarily used to clear ice to make way for shipping lanes, the Ivan Papanin is designed to be a versatile asset in Arctic operations. This warship can break through ice up to 1.7 meters thick, which is crucial for maintaining access to the Arctic's vital shipping routes. But the Ivan Papanin isn't just an icebreaker, it also functions as a tugboat, a patrol ship, and a vessel for search and rescue operations. It's built to operate in extreme conditions for up to 70 days without needing to dock, making it perfect for long-term Arctic deployments. One of the most striking features of the Ivan Papanin is its ability to carry out reconnaissance missions. The ship is equipped with a helipad and a hangar for a KA-27 helicopter, along with drones like the Orlin and Nasset. These aerial assets give the ship a significant advantage in surveillance and intelligence gathering. Additionally, the vessel has high-speed Raptor landing boats and a hovercraft, which allows for the rapid deployment of forces in the event of an emergency or conflict. A floating arsenal. What truly sets the Ivan Papanin apart, however, is its weaponry. The ship is armed with a 76 mm AKD 76 mm cannon, which is a powerful piece of artillery for surface combat. For air defense, the ship features portable surface-to-air missile systems. But the most advanced and significant addition is the Caliber NK missile system, a containerized, long-range cruise missile platform. This system allows the Ivan Papanin to launch precision strikes against enemy ships, submarines, and even land-based targets. With these capabilities, the Ivan Papanin is no longer just a vessel for clearing ice. It's a floating fortress capable of transforming the balance of power in the Arctic. Its firepower and versatility make it a formidable opponent in the face of potential Arctic conflict, as it can protect Russia's growing interest in the region while deterring any adversaries from making a move. Future Developments Russia has already begun construction on the second ship in the Project 23554 series, named the Nikolai Zubov, and it's expected to be even more heavily armed than its predecessor. These ships mark a significant shift in naval warfare, as they combine the functionalities of traditional warships with those of icebreakers, creating a completely new type of vessel for Arctic operations. These ships are designed to operate in extremely cold, hostile environments and are capable of multiple military roles, such as anti-submarine warfare, missile strikes, and patrol missions. The Project 23552 ships represent a new class of warship that is uniquely suited to the challenges of Arctic warfare. For Russia, this is not just about defending its borders. It's about maintaining a strategic edge in one of the most contested regions on Earth. Implications for global geopolitics The deployment of armed icebreakers is a game-changer in Arctic geopolitics. As sea ice continues to recede due to global warming, the Arctic has become increasingly accessible, and nations are scrambling to secure resources and shipping routes. Russia's aggressive approach to building a dedicated Arctic military force suggests that it is preparing for future conflicts over the region's valuable resources. The country has made it clear that it intends to dominate the Arctic in both civilian and military capacities. In response to Russia's growing presence, other countries, including the United States, Canada, and NATO members, may follow suit by ramping up their military presence in the region. The Arctic is no longer just a frozen wilderness. It's become a battleground for global superpowers seeking to secure their economic and strategic interests.
The Yvonne Papanin isn't just an icebreaker, it's a warning. A warning that the Arctic is no longer just about science and exploration, but power and control. With its unmatched firepower, advanced technology, and strategic importance, this warship signals the start of a new era in naval warfare. But this raises bigger questions. Will other nations follow Russia's lead? Could this spark a military showdown in the Arctic? Only time will tell. What do you think? Drop your thoughts in the comments. And if you enjoyed this breakdown, don't. Forget to like, follow, and subscribe for more deep dives into global military power.